There comes a moment where you feel like you learn a piece of software, but with these logic samplers and all of the upgrades, there is so much more to all of this and it just gets so much better. Bolo! What is good you guys, it's your boy Bolo, back at it again. And before we get started with the video, make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and make sure you guys turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time I have another video available. And hit that thumbs up if you like the video or hit that thumbs down if you don't like it. You know, I don't care. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the multi sampler and I'm not gonna to talk too long in my intro because you guys seem to just skip over the intro, but I do kind of set it up a little bit so you guys will know what's kind of going on. I'm gonna be doing something very cool. I actually spoke to somebody who was very special to this program and they actually showed me a few things. And of course, I'm gonna show you guys just like a little scrape of the surface of what's kind of going on with these samples. Shout out to this very special guy for showing me this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys how to use your iPhone voice memos to capture sounds, route them into the new Logic 10.5 multi-sampler and create your own instruments with it. And I'm gonna show you guys something that you can do very special with the MIDI inside of VSTs inside of the sampler as well. So without me talking so much, let's go ahead and get to the tutorial right now. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on my iPhone and go to my voice memos and I'm gonna record some sounds into it. Y'all don't laugh too hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I guess I call those the oohs. All right, let's record something else. Ah, ah, ah. All right, so I guess those will be called the ahs. And let's try one more sound. Oh, oh, oh. That will be the O's. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the best singer at all. Y'all got the point. So let me show you guys how to get this thing into Logic and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make instruments with your voice memos. All right, you guys, so now we're in Logic Pro X with the new 10.5 update. And as you can see, I have a Alchemy synth up here and I have just a blank instrument track. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down to the sampler and I'm gonna use the multi sample right here. So we're going to select that. And then this is basically the old ES, uh, EXS sampler. Yeah, EXS sampler. Yeah, y'all you know, know which one I'm talking about. This is basically the old one on steroids because you can see everything in front of you now and this is just, with all the new algorithms and everything, this is incredible. What are we gonna do? So now we actually recorded those sounds from off our iPhone into our voice memos. How are we gonna get it on to Logic Pro X very fast and efficiently? Well, all you have to do is have your iCloud account linked to your laptop and then you can just go right here to your voice memos and all your stuff will pop up right here. Now, the good thing about it is you don't have to do nothing crazy to try to get the sounds off of your voice memos on to Logic. All you have to do is click and drag. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag into the optimize section and we're gonna go to zone per note. And then what it's gonna do, as you can see, it analyzed what I did and <laughs> it found out the key it found out everything using AI technology, and now we can use it as an instrument. It is amazing. Now, the good thing about it is it actually found right here the loop points in each one of the samples for you automatically. So when you hold on to it, sounds pretty decent. AI found it pretty cool, so now when you play the notes, it automatically makes the sound. Now, the good thing about this is, say for instance, we wanna make the sound a little bit more intricate, we wanna add some stuff to it. We can go right into my voice memos again, and then we can click the eyes that I did and do the same thing. And what it's gonna do, it's going to actually make it into a multi-sample instrument. So we're gonna do the same thing, do zone uh, per note, it's gonna analyze it, 
That fast is done, so now we have the O's and O's together. And it finds the key and everything for you. So now when we play it, come on, man. So now let's go ahead and add the last sound that I did, and that is the O. Let's do the same thing. Zone per note, analyzes it, and now we have incredible. But it gets even better because we can actually go in and we can change a few things if you want to change up the loop points or whatever you want to do. But this is where it gets real interesting. Now, as I said before, I have an instance of alchemy up right now and I have a bass sample of an alchemy. So, let me just record anything in. Played in some basic notes, just didn't matter what tempo it was or whatever, just played in some basic. Watch this. We can take the MIDI information that we just played from Alchemy and we can actually swing that. All we have to do is just click on it, drag it, and swing it into the multi sampler. Yeah, I said it right. Just click on the MIDI information, have the multi sampler up. As you can see, it's up. Click on it, drag it into the multi sampler, do zone per note. It's going to bounce it, analyze it, and actually have it set inside of the multi sampler. And guess what? You don't have to do nothing because the AI technology took care of that for you. So now. <laughs> Yes, we have the bass note now with all of our sounds that we created. So you can create a multi-sample instrument even with the VST instruments by just dragging the MIDI information into the sampler. Just like that. And now you can go into the actual sample track and add any effects. Like right now, I'm just going to add like a quick reverb to it. We're going to go to uh, Chroma Verb and just use the one that's already set for it. And incredible. And then you can actually go into each one of the instruments and you can turn the sounds up or down, which one you want up, which one you want down. You can select everything in there and select all the sounds and just make sure that you have the volumes the way you want it. It's just a crazy, crazy sampler. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy. You can sample anything and everything. I don't care if it's a bird chirp. I don't care if you go into the music store and might want to get a few sounds like that. I don't condone it. So you can sample anything and turn it into a new instrument just like that. Okay, you guys, there it is. As you can see, these samplers in Logic 10.5 are super dope. And we have not even went too deep because it even gets deeper than this. So make sure you guys stay tuned to some of my next videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out. <laughs>